Hello and welcome, welcome back. This is Redemption Goddess. Today I want to talk about the man that I have on the screen. The reason why I want to talk about him is because I was in a, I watched a live with Cynthia G. I like her. And uh, I also subscribed to um, Nala, I believe her name. And then she had another young lady on the panel. Um, I like those young ladies. They had a really good discussion. It was funny. Um, it was mean at times, you know, it was mean. But again, they're not super nice, you know, and the, the, the guys are not super nice either. So, you know, as they talk about you, talk about your hair, talk about your eyebrows, your makeup to this and how uh, horrible we are. How ugly and mean and loud and whatever. I don't ever hear them say some, right? So I I literally, to find this man, because she didn't mention his name. They was just, you know, they was roasting the hell out of his ass. They did not mention his name. So I've never watched any of his content. I, I don't know who he is. I literally got to YouTube and put in... Black man disses, or no, old black man disses Cynthia G. Scroll, now it was a bunch of videos with black men dissing Cynthia G. Scroll down a bit and I found him. So I actually, you know, so I can have some context. I listened to this video. As you can see, this is a two-year-old video. Now today in the live, Cynthia G talked about him being a fan of hers at one point. So we talking about people that's been on this YouTube for some time. Now, I want to just give you my reaction. Obviously, um, well, not obviously, I'm not a blind follower. If you wind up, if you slip up and you lie, you, you, you give some misinformation or whatever you lying, purposely lying, doing stuff, uh, you know how when they talk about 90% of this and, you know, you're throwing out percentages willy-nilly, not telling nobody where you got these percentages from, referencing them, you you lose me. So, I'm not a blind follower of anyone. and um, I, But I do like Cynthia G. I like all those young ladies that was on there. I was listening to Miss Nala. I didn't know that her and Taz were married. I listened to Taz as well. Um, again, I'm not a blind follower of anyone, but here is my take on this. So if black men have been taking advice from other black men, like black men, like this man. So I don't doubt that he has some content that he criticizes men. I, I don't know if he does, but he may have some content where he's criticizing the thugs and the killing I couldn't tell you, but in this particular video, as you can see, right when I stopped it, he says that he's been self-employed for 40 years. Oh, I think he says over 40 years. He doesn't tell you what he's self-employed doing, but he says he's been self-employed for over 40 years and he doesn't have to work for no white man. Um, there's some like Jamaican type music going on in the background or whatever. So cool. That's cool. Now, is it, you know, is he telling that, you know, what apparently 64.5 million people, I'm sorry, 64,000 people. I said million. That says, yeah, it's not million, honey. It's 64,000 people, 64.5 thousand people. And we just go ahead and say mainly men and we'll go ahead and push it even further. Mainly black men. Listening to this man. Now, are you listening to him? Because see, when you, you think in your mind, oh, I'm going to listen to an elder and I'm going to get some knowledge. Sometimes you can get knowledge just from their folly. Like you can gain knowledge even when they act in a fool. Because even just because you older don't mean that you, you know, learn from your mistakes. So sometimes you can learn from people in their folly. The first thing that pops out to me about this man and actually, no, I take that back. I looked at a, I looked at, uh, his response to Cynthia G and this is why she's doing a response to him today. Why she did the live. 
He is angry that Cynthia G does not talk about the good things that's going on that black men do and that she only focuses on the negative. Somebody tell him that we're not in the ages when he was born or grown up where you just tell a woman what she could do and what she can't do. That woman can make content about whatever she wants. You know, for him to think, oh, why, you know, you're angry with her. First of all, if she wasn't talking about you, I don't even know why you would be mad. If you don't fit into that category because she quit trying to, you know, oh, some and, you know, put all these uh, prereqs on everything. She quit that. She's just selective now. If you lucky enough to have you a good black man in your life, your dad, your cousins, your brothers, if you're lucky enough, cherish them, lift them, lift them up. She says that I've, I've heard her say that a number of times. But when she's speaking, she's speaking about the collective and then they, on her live today, they proved her right. They call in some man. He just kept calling. Y'all need to admit y'all lesbians. <laughs> you don't have nothing else to say. Apparently no job to be at or calling on his break or whatever he was doing. But this is what this man decided to do with his time, which proves the woman's point. You know, when she talks about dusty trash bag, this, that, and then they get under her comments. Oh, you shut your ass up. You weed wearing. They're actually proving her point because a respectable black man don't care. Oh, she's not talking about me. Just like you walk in the room, just like Dick Gregory say. You walk in a room, they say all the hoes stand up, and you stand your behind up. That means you identify with that. So when you jump up under her comments and make videos about her, that means that she's talking about you. That means that she said something that triggered you. Because otherwise, if she's not talking about you, you you are not the subject of the conversation because you are doing what you're supposed to do. You're taking care of your kids. You married the lady that had your children. You are doing all the things that you're supposed to do in life to be a productive man. Black man, man, period. You're a provider. You're a protector. You're doing everything you're supposed to do. I don't understand why you would be mad. This is like when they get to talking about beach, beaches and ratchets and I don't be on there. Y'all need to stop talking about black women. No, they're not talking about black women. They're talking about beaches and, and ratchets. So in this moment, no, they're not talking about black women. So no, I'm not at all offended when they're talking about the colored nails and the hair and, and the different five, six baby. Dad. I don't relate to any of that. So that shit doesn't offend me. Anybody that has five baby daddies and different daddy babies or whatever and long ratchet nails where you can't even wipe your behind and, um, you know, be sanitary at least. I don't know how they could be sanitary with them long nails. When they're talking about those young ladies, it does not bother me. And it don't really bother the women that they're talking about because them women don't care. They're going to continue to do wear their nails and their hair and do whatever they want to do. Talk crazy, talk loud, fight, cut each other. They don't care. So let me move to this point. And I'm trying to do this as delicately as possible because I was taught to respect my elders. But if you're getting advice, uh, I'm trying to just think how I could put this. That's just like a woman coming to try to tell me about marriage. And she, she's she's never been married. And she has a bunch of failed relationships. And she's trying to come and tell me how to keep my keep my marriage going. I'm going to look at her crazy. I'm going to look at her dead crazy. I'm not going to listen to shit to come out of her mouth. Same thing here. You got a, this man is got a lot of bitterness towards white folks and whoever challenges black men. That's the root of this here. Respectfully. The root of this is ch the challenge of black men calling it out a hit dog holler because this man would never even be saying nothing if he didn't feel like some of this stuff applies. And now ain't nobody going to be cherry picking nothing. Oh, look at this. I mean, I did a few. I, I did a, high, a few highlights of black men doing their thing on my channel. 
Um, but those, they, they don't hardly have no views. They, those, those videos don't hardly have no views. Right. Um, I'm a little worried for black men right now because they're taking a bunch of advice from a bunch of bitter men. And so, of course, if you walk up to a woman and you're vulgar and and hypersexual, oh, baby, you you know, I can see in your eyes that you undressing me. And and then if I decide that I don't want to talk to you, then here you come being violent and acting a fool and all of this. Uh, No, this is this is the, the root of all of this. Listening to advice from a man that says that he been in self-employed for 40 years, but he has yet to find a dentist. Are you serious? And then you done been on YouTube all this time. Even if you didn't have no viable income, YouTube should have been and paid you something by now to where you could have fixed your mouth. Dental health is important to your overall health. So you can imagine The years and years of him neglecting his mouth is why it looks like this. Why all of those teeth are out like that. This man's mouth is jacked up. How in the hell could this bitter ass man give advice? I'm please help me because I'm trying to be respectful. How do you give advice when you don't even take care of yourself? You don't even take care of yourself, but you got the nerve enough to try to tell some woman what she should be, what type of content she should be creating. That's how bold you are. You don't come across the internet and tell somebody else how to run their channel. Then on top of that, you don't want to go see nobody, Dennis. You got these dudes bitter as hell and y'all sending them off, sending them off down a a messed up road. Y'all sit behind these panels talking all of this mess and these young guys are listening to it and they taking it back out into the world. They think they getting good advice. So when some woman rejects them, Oh no, honey, I'm married. Oh no, I'm spoken for already. Oh no, baby. I don't have time. Oh, you bitch. I, you got weave in your hair anyway. And you ugly and look at all that makeup you got on and blah, blah, blah. You probably want a white dude. I mean, this is what comes from them when they get rejected. They get out here and they act a fool. They don't even know how to approach women no more. Because if somebody rejects them, they go back to what this guy then said, what the other manosphere folks then told them. Uh, oh, how to have a 20, how to have a cheap date, how to, how to have a coffee date and still get some behind, how to do, you know, and it's not working. It may work on, see the girls that they, it works on the girls that they swear up and down. They don't want The girls that they can go buy uh, some old cheap canned drink, girl don't even want no wine. Go buy her some canned beer and some blunts and she happy. Because that that is the, so they swear up and down they don't want them girls though. But these, we see that these are the women that they are actually getting. These are the women that they actually get with this rhetoric. They swear up and down they don't want no ratchet. But after they get done listening to this guy and whoever else they go listening to, they approach the woman because a real woman is not going to give them any attention with that type of attitude. You know, nobody is going to give them any action, any play, none. You walk up on me sliding and bobbing and weaving and talking, talking about a 25 to a coffee dates and all types of weird mess. We already know you just want some behind anyway. Then when you get to talking to these dudes about real conversations about, hey, what is your status? They get, I ain't sick. You must be sick. Uh, da, 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 da. Because they sitting up here listening to people like this and no disrespect to this man, because I'm pretty sure he has content somewhere. I don't know. I just have to assume on that because I haven't been through his content, but there is no way that I would listen to a man you know, unless he telling me some historical stuff like, yeah, back in the 40s, this was happening back in the 50s. This was happening. I remember this story, you know, giving personal accounts and you can't even really trust that because I'm like, 
just how I know you're not lying, you know, especially when they get to hyping themselves up more than what, you know, in all this time you haven't went to a dentist. So how can I believe that you've done anything of value with your life? You say you done had a business for 40 years, but you neglect to say what business that is. Maybe you can help some of these other black men get into that business. Maybe that's what else he does on his channel. I don't want to assume. I'm really trying to be respectful as possible, but I don't get it. I don't get why guys would sit here and listen to these bitter ass men. That when they turn that camera off, they either getting in the bed by themselves or they, they jumping in line. This is just an online persona. That woman tell him to turn that, get your ass off that computer and come on and help me and whatever. Oh, I got, I got to go. I got to go. Yeah, you got to go. Cause you know who, you know, she paying the bills. You know that she's the one with the assets. That's why you got to hurry up and get off. These guys get on here and talk a bunch of mess and they sending these got the young ones. Oh, bitter guys sending these guys to hell basically with their words and these type this gentleman here and many many more are the reason why black men are fucked up it ain't black women honey this the type of men that go get cigarettes and never come back and be right on the next block somewhere raising somebody else's kids but won't come and raise his own and i'm not saying that that's what this man did but i'm just giving you you know the the overall picture they'll run away and then these are the type of guys that'll run away and then come back when the child is successful. I'm your daddy. Want to show up at the NFL games now. You want to show up in the N uh, NBA games. You want to you wanna be on TV with them now. You want everybody to know about now that the mom has uh, uh, did everything that she could to, to make sure that they become successful. Here come your ass popping up wanting some recognition. And it goes the same for women. You can't sit up here and listen to no old bitter ass woman give you advice about relationships and men and this and this and that. And I don't get bitterness from Cynthia G. I get the bitterness uh, on behalf of the collective of black men. But I'm pretty sure that she has uh, the, the capacity to have a beautiful, healthy relationship with whoever, whomever she chooses. I'm pretty sure that what she says online does not translate into her real life because in her real life, she, uh, she, she's allowing, uh, she's selective of who she allows into her life. When you online, all types of crazy troll people be online. So yeah, you speak into, to, to the collective of these people online, you know, the minute you smell bull crap, you just get on up out of there. You don't, in your personal life, you allow whoever you want to allow in there. But when you're online, you got these trolls, you got all these folks want to make reaction videos and this and that and talk mess. But see, this talking is what got us effed up. 45, 50 years of a man like this talking, giving fucked up advice, sending these black men down, uh, uh, <laughs> down the wrong road. And then this cowardness, okay, I'm not going to turn on the, who's really dominating me. I'm not, I'm not going to say nothing to them. Let me turn on women. I'm not going to talk. I say, you know, white supremacy a few times, but I'm really my, my, my hate, my vitriol, my, all of my aggression. I'm going to turn that on my mama. I'm going to turn that on my wife. I'm going to turn that on my sisters. I'm going to turn that on some strange woman online. I'm going to get online and tell her what type of content she could create and what she can say and what she should do and what dot, 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 dot. 50 years of this shit has black men fucked up. 50 years of listening to their uncle Baba and their grandpa Baba, how they ass fucked up. And that's the truth. Anybody that does not even care about their own health because your, your dental health is tied to your health. So in all of this time, you have not even tried to go and figure out what's going on with your mouth to get it together and got the nerve to jump on here and put your tongue on somebody else. Are you serious? 
I, I say it's not so. And then it's all of this, like black, black women. That, that, that I want to find a space where I can say all this hateful, fucked up shit. When in reality, it's laziness, procrastination. Your, inner, your lack of self-control. These are all things that are true. So instead of addressing them and fixing them, you try to go find some black woman to blame it on? Oh, please. Now, in my opinion now, the shift, the shift has begun. I think the shift began many, many years ago. This is why you see so many successful black women. Now they really crying. Y'all, they didn't do black girl magic. That, that, that. You hear them crying, crying, dry as tears, you know, just crying. Did nobody tell y'all to be lazy, procrastinate, no accountability? Did nobody tell you to do that? The white man ain't made you do that. You did this shit yourself. Then you sit up here and listen to a man that won't even go visit a dentist. Instead of going to the library and reading, you would rather try to listen to this man like he got some kind of cheat sheet on life. Clearly. He is mismanaging his own mouth. He's mismanaging his own dental health. I'm pretty sure he dropped some gems just because he didn't live long enough. But he didn't tell you what business he even been in for 40 years that he that he ain't had to depend on no white man. Did he tell you what business he was in? Please tell me so I can know. Now I done met some old black men that had it going on. Okay. Now, I personally am not into the sugar daddy stuff. They still gross to me. Even when they got muscles, even when they looking good, that gray, white, it just don't do it for me, baby. Knowing that you could die, it is, no, I'm good. I'm good. No, I don't even want to see an old dude naked. Ah, gross. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm kind of a little young, you know, I'm probably, I'm younger than all of I'm younger than everybody, Cynthia G, all of them probably. Um, I was really young listening to them, listening to Cynthia G, but this guy is fairly new. Now I'm going to go through his content so I can give him a fair shake. Okay. But just from this one, I mean, I, I got all the way to here and I was like, I got to stop. I got to stop. Cause soon as he said he'd been in business for himself for 40 years, you lost me because why haven't you fixed your mouth? And all of the men listening to him. I, now, I get the space. Let me just say this. I get the space. You have a space where you can vent. You know, you might have, you know, you couldn't get with the woman, the, the woman woman, because you, you didn't have the skills to talk and get her. So you got the ratchet project girl. And she's sending you through hell. She's trying to kill you, trying to have her brothers kill you, uh, got you on child support, you know, trying to slash your tires, trying to just straight. I understand. So you need a place to go and vent they in the comments, they on the panels and they're just kind of recanting their life. But listen, you got that lady. The reason why you got a hold to that lady, because you didn't sharpen your skills. You, you don't know how to approach a real woman you intimidated by a real woman and in your mind you got all these people feeding you this shit so when you see any woman you think she a ratchet she it is she a that and then you're trying to figure out how you can you know figure out how you can have sex from off a coffee date you're trying to figure out how you can finesse your way into somebody's bedroom or finesse them into your bedroom uh off of a frappuccino that should messed up think. See, instead of being in the library, because let me tell you, that's where the ladies are. We in there reading, we in there studying. That's where we are. We not, we not in front of no stores. We not riding around on no gas stations. We not sitting up here with no long nails where you can't even wipe your behind. I ain't even going to, and, and even to the young ladies that do that, do you live your life. But the women Baby, they at work. They at the library. They're in school. They're they're at home. And if they are out enjoying life, it's somewhere safe. 
somewhere safe, somewhere they feel safe. Probably to have valet parking. I don't know. I don't know. That might be a stretch. But they somewhere safe. And you can't just walk up on them and undress them with your eyes. Because as soon as they see that that's what you're doing, they're going to dismiss you. You have to walk up on them respectfully. You have to speak regular. Yo, yo. Oh, you just don't fed that. You got to talk for real. You have to use your words. I get talked like this because I'm from Florida. I'm from Georgia. I know plenty of people from South East Coast. All that snot box and all. I know plenty of people from the East Coast, from all over the country. They don't talk like that. Okay? They may have a little twang, but they do not talk like that dead ass dead ass dead ass no you know and then when a woman rejects you you ugly that 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 can't even take rejection you don't even know how to just move on don't even know how to just move on why because you've been sitting up here listening to folks tell you crazy shit they got a bitter ass life they didn't they didn't had all type of problems and and all type of ratchet women and and they trying to tell you this is what you gonna run into and it's not the truth it's not and the, and the thing is the same the women that y'all swerving down y'all can't stand the ratchet this that and whatever that's what y'all wind up with because that's where your skill level, your vocabulary skill level, your maturity level is right down there with her. And the few little times that you do get you a real woman, y'all jack it up. Not all, some, 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 some. And then all this, uh, the white man, the white man is doing all of this shit to y'all. I, I could, I could agree with you, uh, 50 years ago. I, I will even go as far as to say, yes, th- the effects of what they've done is still prevalent today because this is why you have a man that feels comfortable sitting up here with poor dental hygiene. We just say that. Very, very poor dental hygiene, which could equate to very, very poor health. A man that tells you he's been in business for himself for 40 years, but not telling you what business that is, uh, giving you any type of tips and clues or how you can start a business just like that and let it last for 40 years. No, he on here talking about Cynthia G, her eyelashes and her hair and some other stupid shit. Make it make sense. No one will make it make sense because the average black man, he like, yeah, you're right, baby. Yeah, yeah, this is weird. I, I would never. Yeah, that's weird. But the people that subscribe to this shit, they don't want the accountability. They want to be able to try to run you and tell you what to do, why, what type of channel you can have, what type of content. Well, I wish somebody would tell him to go to the dentist, please. Please go to the dentist. You know, when is the last time you was able to just see I don't because now I'm getting disrespectful. So let me just stop. I'm going to stop that. I'm not going to say that. But honey, all of this bitter ass content, young men, old men, all of y'all, baby, this is not this is not going to help you. It's not going to help you. And and black women is not your problem. Y'all your own damn problem. You your own problem. Solve it. You have to at some point just be entertained, which is okay. You know, I, I can be entertained. I can consume your content, be entertained, take what take the funny stuff, laugh, hee hee, and go on about my business. But at some point y'all need to go to the library. At some point you have to turn the electronics off and read. And we're not talking about no ancient Kemet shit. If you know good and damn well you can barely read. You have to sit your ass down and read everything that you can. Sitting here listening to some bitter ass men, black men online, listening to these panels, talking about baby mamas, this, that, and whatever. I understand that could be therapeutic for some now. You know, it could be therapeutic, get that stuff off your chest. I would rather you 
call her a bunch of names than to actually go put your hands on her and jeopardize your freedom. I'd rather you call her all of the names, all of the cuss words you can think of than actually going to jail and doing some crazy stuff. So yeah, call her all the names you want. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me if you call me all the names. But at some point you have to stop with the with these bitter people. This advice that they're giving you is not is not what it is, honey. It's going to send y'all down the road of extin- extinction. It's going to be a whole bunch of little, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a whole bunch of black women and a whole bunch of little mixed mulatto children. And the black race will be utterly extinct, extinct messing with y'all. So at some point y'all got to wake up. You got a whole bunch of bitter ass men sending y'all left. Let me guess, did a black woman make him not go to the dentist? Some type of way, his teeth and his dental problems has to be a black woman's fault, right? Well, she took all his money. She took all of his money. He ain't had no money left to go to the dentist. Something, it's, it, it, something, some black woman somewhere, please explain it. Some black woman somewhere tied him down and said, no, you are not going to the dentist. No, you know, there's a lot of parents that neglect their health to try to do stuff for their kids. Not knowing that if they not around, their kids is effed anyway. Won't go to the doctor, won't go to the dentist, won't go get glasses and things that they need. And and, and talking about they trying to help take care of their kids. No, baby, if you not around, your children go into the system That does not make sense either. At some point, you have to seek professional counseling. If you've been wronged, something didn't happen to you, you got all this trauma, sitting on some panel with a bunch of bitter ass men is not going to solve your problem. And hating Cynthia G and women to say the stuff that, honey, if you really sit back and listen... If it doesn't apply to you, I don't even understand why you will be mad. If you are not a deadbeat dad, you're not uh, hurried up trying to get to the prison. You're not standing somewhere out on the corner. When a woman rejects you, you don't try to go off on her. If all of these things don't apply to you, I don't even know why you would be mad. If you've been to the dentist, you go regularly. I don't understand at all why you would be offended. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like dislike and have a great day. Thank you for listening.